Hello, Cancer. Cancerians, welcome to 811 Moon. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your support for the channel. Let's get right into your reading for November. Uh, I'm starting off with the mini romance angels and let's see what Cancer has going on. Oh, 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 oh. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you might have someone coming in that you haven't met yet or you already just had someone come in that is your soulmate or you've been questioning whether you have a soulmate or not that's interesting too um i feel like some of you are questioning that and you've got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and someone i forgot what oh my gosh which sign got that uh anyway enjoy the bliss of holiday time together the holidays are coming if you live in the U.S., you know, Thanksgiving is coming. If you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, all of that is coming. And then the new year is coming. Woohoo! 2021. <laughs> um, I feel as though I got two messages when I saw Honeymoon. I feel like some people are getting married because their wedding was put off from the spring. And then I also got that um, it's really important to celebrate the holidays even though you don't you might not feel like it like you might not want to do all the little extras that you normally do uh because of the way things have been in the uh with the goings on with the virus but and every time i say the word virus i think of the walking dead uh, anyway um you have been quite some of you have been questioning a soulmate and some of you have been struggling with what to do about the holidays. So let's see what we got coming in for you, Cancer. Let's see what we can do with these cards. I feel like there's a bunch of messages. I'm sorry. That happens sometimes. I get like multiple energies coming in and then messages get all mixed up. So let's see what we got going on for the Cancers. My water signs, my beautiful Cancers. Okay, so you got the judgment card. And <laughs> look, with the people coming out of the graves. Yeah, Walking Dead. Um, you, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many messages. I'm so sorry. So uh, some of you are feeling judged by your relationship, even though you are happy with them. Here's my advice. Don't need a card for this. You have to be happy. You do you. It's your journey. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Hmm, that took care of that. Uh, the other one is um, that there's a there's a bridge between there's a bridge between life and death that there's a oh my gosh this is like wow I got a pain in my chest. Um, there's this bridge between life and death that. The angels are um, the caretakers for. I don't know where this is coming from, guys. Like, this is just what's coming to me. So take it where it resonates with yourself, um, Cancer. That, you know, we have the freedom of choice in our lives. We have this freedom. And there is a bridge here between life and death. And I feel as though... If you choose to listen to others, you're going to feel like you're in death. Take it where it resonates. I don't know where that's coming from. Let's get more cards on the table. Whoa, that was painful. Um, oh, you've got new energy coming in. You've got fire energy. Um, if you haven't met someone, like I said earlier, that was part of another message. If you haven't met somebody, you might have a fire energy coming in, which is Aries, Sag, or Leo. But you also have some passion coming in. Um, oh my gosh, that's what part of the death feeling is, um, Cancer. So like, and, and that's a bad word to use, but it's like the death card with, with this transformation. I feel like you need to call on the... You know, if you believe in angels, you call on them more. Uh, if you believe in source energy, call on the source energy more. If you believe in, um, if you believe in 
spirit guides to call on them because I feel as though there is there's some internal conflict that yeah see the messages the messages are gonna, that are going to help you you might have them in dreams you might have them you might have waking visions coming to you cancer I feel like the people that are watching are really um, psychic empathic spiritual and so I'm feeling the heavy like I'm feeling like overwhelmed um, so cancer like take these messages maybe keep a journal of the messages that you're getting visions you're getting what you're seeing and oh my gosh I think it's gonna be, I think you've had you've, you I feel like you've had a very emotional month cancer a very up and down month but I feel as though November is going to change that. Wow, this is heavy. Sorry, someone's delivering something to the door. Yeah, you've got something new coming in. You, 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 I feel like you need to release some of this energy. I feel like maybe you've been pulled under the veil. If you know, if you guys, if that, res, if that term resonates with you, then you know what I'm talking about. You've been pulled under the veil a lot lately between this life and death thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean like between like, you know, spirit world in, in your world. And it's really um, been a, it's, it's weighed heavy on your heart and it's, it's actually fit affecting you physically. You need to be light like the fool. I feel like you need to release some of these heavy energies. I feel like you need a salt bath or to, um, Sorry, like I said, somebody's delivering something. Um, you need to ground. You need to do something. I feel like maybe you need to take a day off and just do something that is um, not something you talk, you normally do. And this happened to me for another sign. I was I got golfing. Maybe you should golf. If you don't golf, maybe you should go hit a bucket of balls. Like get that energy out, get that out. But it's like something that you, it's a repetitious thing. It's out in your, it's out in the fresh air. I don't know. That's what I got. But um, let's see. Any advice for cancer besides grounding and releasing some of this energy? Ooh, now you got the moon and the six of cups. So this is stuff that's this could be past life life stuff that you need to re work through. Um, this could be, now let's take it where it resonates. If you, um, this is a very spiritual reading. I feel like we're, we're jumping here into a realm of healing inner child, past life, all in the same thing. Like, but I definitely get to keep getting the same message that, you know, it's your life. Don't, don't. Don't take the judgment of others and don't take the judgment of others and use that for your um, the way you're living your life. Like perfect example. I was told, you know, don't sell your house, don't sell your house, don't sell your house. I totally should have sold my house. I should have up. Oh, I should have done what I wanted to do. I knew in my soul. I needed to get out of my house because my husband had passed away. Not everybody's like that. Some people want to stay in their home. Mine, I just couldn't do it. It was too much of a reminder. It was too heavy in there. It was too painful. I'm very empathic. I'm very spiritual. And I'm very in tune in that stuff. So like his essence was so, it was just so sad. I couldn't do it. But eventually I moved and I was, Elated. I was the best thing I ever did. But I listened to other people, and that was so stupid. I'm just giving you guys an example. So your ship is going to come in, and you are manifesting cancer, but I feel like you are um, definitely uh, weighed down between the realms, between the veil, between things in your life. You do you. You concentrate on what you want out of life, and... It's your mistake to make if it's a mistake. It's nobody else's. Nobody walks in your shoes, Cancer, but yourself. 
Well, Cancer, wow, this was like a... I need to like regroup. Um, this was a very powerful reading. There was a lot of messages here. Some were not even related to the next and some were very related. So if this resonated with you on any level, please leave a um, moon symbol in the comment section so I know you got to the end of the video. I wish you the best, uh, Cancer. Uh, I hope that you feel a little lighter over the next week or so. And if you could share this video so other Cancers can find it, because I feel like this is a very powerful message for Cancer right now, very spiritual message. And if you could click the like and subscribe if you haven't, I'd love to have you back here. And then after this, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this was too much. <laughs> This is too heavy. I'm not coming back. Um, it's just um, cancer. I, I wish you well and blessings to you. And please leave that moon symbol below. If you want to leave a comment about your journey, I'd love to hear about it. But I know it's very personal if you don't want to leave a message. But thank you so much and have a great day, cancer. Bye-bye.